Hello guys, in this video, let's create a slash effect in Niagara. Okay, first we need a Niagara system. And always we select empty template. In Niagara, we don't use spread render. So delete it and add a mesh render. Use our static mesh. Because our static mesh is using the material we need, so we don't need to override it. Now add a spawn rate and set the spawn rate to 100 and also we need to select mesh scale mode to uniform 1 is ok and set lifetime mode to random mean is 0.1 max is 0.2 now add an initial mesh orientation we can see the particles have different directions now let's add a different scale to the particles a random range 0 to 1 ok it's good now we are going to add some dynamic parameter to the material we created in the last video so that we can use it in the Niagara add a dynamic parameter parameter 1 connect to lerps alpha we can use this parameter to control slash trail and rename it to mask also, we need to control the slash width, so copy the dynamic parameter. Parameter 2, rename it to x, and parameter 3, rename it to y. Connect them to power's exponent. And also, we need a different color. So, let's add a UV's offset. The parameter 4, rename it to offset and the text card at the offset connect to UVs ok this is our slash material we can use it in the Niagara save it and go back to Niagara system let's add a dynamic material parameters set mask to 0.5 for preview now we can see slash particles and the slash width x and y we give it a random range 0 to 1 now we can see particles widths are different offset also a random range 0 to 1 a different color also we can add a particle color in material so we can control particles color in Niagara Select color mode to direct set and let's test it. Set our channel to 100. Yes, we can see it work. Now let's select random range and color channels mode to random channel. Give it a random color. Now add a scale color in particle update. Make color brighter. Vector from float and set the value to curve 0 to 1 to 0 and set scale curve to 5 scale alpha also a curve the same curve we can see its particles color is brighter now okay add a dynamic material parameters in particle update set mask to a curve 0 to 1 we can see it have some issues around the edges because it's too wide. So let's change particles width 1 to 2. Ok, it looks better. But a little thing, so let's change the minimal to 0.5. Ok, it's better. Now let's create another effect. First, copy this Niagara system and set left time mean to 2, max to 3 and delete spawn rate add a spawn burst spawn count to 10 and we want it to stay around for a while so we can change mask curl we can add two keys 
the first key data is 0 0.1 and the value is 0 0.4. The second key data is 0 0.7 and the value is 0 0.7. Now we can see the effect, but not good, maybe 0 0.9. Okay, it's better. Now let's change scale colors curve. The same way. First key data is 0 0.1, value is 0 0.4. And the second key data is 0 0.5, value is 1. We can see particles color get brighter as they are stay. Okay, let's see this effect in the level. Yes, looks good. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.